Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Weekend Wake Up. Yay, we have a special word today. What, what are you going to bring us today? I am going to um, share from the scripture in John 10.10. 10. And, um, well, actually, I'm just going to pay. Uh, this is the part I want to pay attention to. Okay. So it talks about the, the thief and the thief comes to steal and destroy. But the word says, well, Jesus says, I have come. And I love the Amplified Version. I think it's the amplified version. Yeah, yeah, it says, yeah. I have come that you would have a life mm -hmm. and enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. So I love that it says, I have come that you would have. on to say to the full, to the overflow or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That you would have and enjoy. Uh, so yeah. I love that he makes that, that you know, um, yeah. What's the word that I'm looking for? That he makes the distinction, <laughs> you know, that you, that, that I didn't just come to give you a life. <laughs> But I, this is going to be a funny one today. I can tell. <laughs> so I hope you, I hope you tuned in for some giggles and some laughs because I can already tell. I am but making her giggle. You're going to have it, and you're going to enjoy, enjoy it. it. I didn't come to just give you a pancake, <laughs> but to put butter and syrup on it. Yeah, so you can have it and enjoy it. <laughs> Because that's how you enjoy a pancake. Have the pancake and enjoy the pancake. Because you oh. don't want a you don't want a naked pancake, <laughs> but your husband would. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. This just got weekendy. Or no, this just got wake up y. We're weekend. We're weekend wake up. So if you ha if, if you don't know it what that means. Daytime wake up. <laughs> Day, week, week, week wake up. <laughs> if you don't know what we're referencing, the, the, the misters have uh, a show too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I'm going to be speaking from that scripture. <laughs> If you're still stuck on pancakes, we are talking about your life. <laughs> now, the words of this um, scripture were actually spoken. Jesus spoke these words yeah. when he was giving us a, a sermon. And he was talking, actually, specifically, he was addressing the Pharisees that were calling him out for having healed a blind man. And in mm -hmm. this sermon, I don't, that was like, I don't know. I don't know why I said that, but that's when this sermon came up. And okay. that's, yeah, it was that sermon. And um, in this sermon, he is telling them, uh, he refers to himself in the sermon as the good shepherd. Yeah. And kind of like making a case for the why, I guess, you know, yeah. um, as if he needed to like tell them the why, but he did. Yeah. And it got me to thinking about sheep. <laughs> we Yay. should title this Pancakes and Sheep. <laughs> New title. <laughs> to our editor we're gonna it's go over just cakes and sheep <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're cracking ourselves up today so i apologize for the length <laughs> um but it did it got me to thinking about him as the good shepherd and it got me yeah. to thinking about shepherds like that profession yeah um in those times and what does a shepherd do it a shepherd makes it literally a shepherd goes and grabs the sheep in the morning gathers them to him yeah. and then guides and directs them out to the green pasture where they graze and it's interesting because they're there all day and i thought well is that because like there's a lot of sheep does it right. depend on if there's a huge flock? Does right. it matter? Or are all shepherds out there for a length of time? Hmm. And then um, as I, I was reading, actually, I, I did go read a little bit about shepherding. And it was saying I like how— I into that kind of stuff. Right? Yeah. They were talking about how they want to give them time to graze mm -hmm. to their full. Mm -hmm. But then also, sometimes they'll relax and rest. And then they'll get back up and go graze some more. And to me, the— like I zeroed in on that concept of relax and rest because the other job of the shepherd mm -hmm. is to protect them from harm and danger, wolves lurking around. And, and I thought, okay, so they're out there for an extended amount of time, right? So in, in relation to the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy, because there is a thief, you know, in our lives yeah. that is lurking, right? The, yeah. the roaming around. And I thought, how cool though, that have you ever seen a sheep like move? Very slowly, very, very just grazingly. Yeah. yeah. And, and very much almost confident and bold and daring. Yeah. And, and, I, and then, and I, and I was saying, <laughs> because we're going to laugh about this too. <laughs> My husband was laughing about it. Is like anytime they have moved faster, it's like a canter, yes. which is a slow jog. Or a slight jog. Yes. Canter, you know, yeah. to like kind of a little skippy. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. I've never seen a sheep like run 
<laughs> and I mean, but I've never seen a sheep when a wolf is like on him either. So I don't yeah, know. Maybe true. I don't know what I'm true. talking about. But yeah. irregardless, um, they trust in the shepherd they to do the, the shepherd. shepherd to do his job. Mm-hmm. So that's what's they, speaking to me today. Mm-hmm. Yes, can trust rest in your shepherd's voice, right? Mm. So that you can. And what I love about this is they eat their fill, they rest, yeah, and indulge some more. And it got me to thinking. Okay, and then okay, just to sum it all up, at the end of the night or when they're done, or yeah. whenever the shepherd decides, he gathers them all back to him, and then he takes them to a pen at night. He puts them all in it, and there's a watchman that watches over them as they sleep, making sure, what? That they're guarded and protected. And I thought, you know what I love about this concept of them out in the pasture during the day? Is they're just out there feasting on the abundance and the beauty and the warmth of the sun and mm-hmm. just, you know, just actually being out of the other area, the pen and being cooped up and they're just out roaming and enjoying life. Yeah. And I was thinking about the beauty that God's given you and I, that God has given us to enjoy and and live. And sure, life has problems and annoyances, but if we really were to take our time and canter, <laughs> good, right? Yeah. And not expect everything to be at this fast food pace. If we just were to take it all in, for me personally, when I was thinking about this teaching and thinking about myself, I thought, you know, we have a permanent um, atomizer in our neighborhood and it's called Orange Blossom. Mm. It's so fragrant in this area of Mesa right now. And I thought, you know, do I take time out to like, or am I so, am I concerned about yeah. the possible like threat to what I'm trying to produce in my life? Am I like so consumed with the threat of the thief that wants to steal my time, kill my dreams, yeah. rob me of those desires? Am I trying so hard yeah. that you don't just stop and Enjoy, Enjoy the beauty. Yeah. You you showed me a picture recently or just this weekend of yes. this crazy wildflowers in the back of your like Yeah, my back backyard. Do we would we miss it? Are mm-hmm. we missing some of these amazing and free? Mm-hmm. That is a free yeah, beautiful moment for you to just go sit on the back of your patio yeah. and yeah. and they're wildflowers. You didn't even have to plant them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Or water them or anything. No, I didn't do anything. They're just there. <laughs> it's free. They're just there this year. I don't in the past two years they haven't been there. And then just one day, all, all of a sudden we just have all this beautiful wildlife in my backyard. Just all these beautiful yellow flowers. It's just but, blooming and like like billowing of blooms. <laughs> it's crazy. No, it is. And, yeah. and it makes, but it does make me like I but you do stop and go, wow. And I love that, that you said last year it didn't do that because is it something that maybe, you know, in those moments when we re- recognize it, ha- had we in the past taken it for granted, has it always been there? It's true. Are we just so consumed with like the to-do list or the yeah. the threat of it not being there any longer and hanging yeah, on to yeah, it so yeah. tight that we don't? Why? Well, what uh, I think I hear you saying mostly today is as really just li- honing in and listening to the shepherd's voice. You know, the sheep... I think that there's a scripture that says the sheep hear the shepherd's voice. Yeah. And recognize. And they recognize it. So when that shepherd, like an actual shepherd of sheep, and obviously the word is talking about Jesus, Jesus is our shepherd. But when an actual shepherd in our day calls out to the sheep, the sheep hear his voice and they follow what the shepherd says. And I know for me, when um, Katie was getting married, mm-hmm. um, the voice that came to me, what 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 Jesus spoke to me in that moment, because I can tend to be so busy with running church, running ministries, doing teachings. Teachings really, you know, consume my time. I just felt Jesus just say, you know what? Let's let's just back off of that stuff for the next six That's months. So good. Let's just back off of that. And and I I struggled at first. At first, I was like, well, you know, I can do all this. Yep. I, I can make this happen. Yep. I'm capable. I, I can, I, I'm capable. I can get up really early. I can stay up really late. I can, I can, I can make all this happen. But again, whole, you know, Jesus is just like, how about we just back off of it? How about you just take this time to just really be invested into the wedding? 
really be invested in to your daughter and and everything that she emotionally is going through yeah. and just being being available well such a change on the horizon for mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. and him not wanting you to miss it mm-hmm. and not miss those and last I did I just down I remember I didn't I didn't I teach the, the marriage conference Mm-mm. I didn't teach in any of the Bible studies and maybe that's drastic to, to some people out there but mm-hmm. for me it, it was just what it was it was a great season and and it's because I, I bet the Lord knows that if I had been so busy on the other side of it, I probably would have been in regret Yeah, uh, on things, mm. of missing out on things oh, or not feeling 100%. like I'm yeah. 100% there for her. And and praise God, I'm blessed that I I, w- I know. I know that I'm blessed that I was able to do that mm-hmm. in my life. Um, I'm, But I'm just so glad that I listened to the shepherd's voice. Well, I think, you know, for those listening, prioritizing though too, like I think sometimes there's things that you can't give up. You got to stay and maintain. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. But I think what <laughs> I hear you saying is that, you know, you were able to let down some of those other things that maybe were extras. Yeah. And you weren't afraid that laying them down in that season didn't mean you couldn't pick it back up later. No, that's a great right. Word. That's a very great mm-hmm. word. And I think too, for me, when I'm planning stuff, I and you can relate <laughs> to this too, um, it just, it's, it consumes my mind. Right. It just consumes every, and it's hard for me to go from this big event that I want to put on because I put on Katie's wedding and her baby, uh, her baby shower and her bridal shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, just all the things, but right. I, I was in the world. I was, I was, it, I was able to be in that entire world yeah. because I didn't have to think over here. Okay, what's the next thing I have to do as far as a Bible teaching? Well, and, and then stuff. nothing else suffers because you're intentional with yeah. where you were headed. And yeah. I think that that's so important. Okay, let me pray. Yeah. Okay. So, Father God, we just thank you and we praise you right now that you gave us Jesus and that you gave that Jesus. You came so that we would have eternal yes. life, but that you came so that we would enjoy this life. And so I thank you and I praise you right now. Um, Show us what that means. Holy Spirit, show us, reveal to us what that means and how it's possible. How can um, everyone listening and everyone watching, how can or how do they maybe um, need to in this season slow down and enjoy and just um, really see the abundance that's set before them and and really press into the amazing that you've gifted to their life and to um, enjoy it and not miss it. And I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a great Saturday. Bye. Bye.